Hey everyone, I'm Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite tech under $175. And yes, this is part two of my tech gift guide. So if you haven't already watched part one, which was my favorite tech under $50, I will link that video down below in the description box as well as up above. I do recommend you check it out after this video. And if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because part three will be dropping later this week. This video is intentionally not sponsored. These are all products that I've purchased with my own money and that I love so much I've added to this list to share with you all. And also to make things as easy as possible for you, everything will be linked with Amazon links in the description box down below so that hopefully whenever you're watching this video, there's still time and they will arrive before the holidays. And I will say at this price range, these items make the perfect gift for someone else because they're a little bit nicer gifts, like they're a little bit more expensive, but they're not luxury or necessarily splurge items. So I feel like they're things that are very functional and practical for every day, but people would probably have a harder time justifying spending this money on themselves. So it makes the perfect gift for most people on your list. So first up is probably the most underrated and practical gift for anyone within the Apple ecosystem. And this is a pack of air tags. These things are genius. Everyone needs them. And honestly, four is not enough. I already wish I had more. You can put these in so many places and I feel like it's something people don't know they need until they have them. If you travel, these are game changers. I've put them in all of my bags. So my suitcases, then I also have one in my purse, in my carry-on bag, like basically in all my bags. And this is why I need more because you can also put one, you can attach them to keys in a wallet, a school bag, a camera bag. Like you can even put one on a, a pet collar or something like that. You could even put one in your car. And then the next time you're at the mall, if you forget where you parked, you can just use your phone to find your car really easily. I'm just saying the possibilities for these air tags are endless. And the really awesome thing is that I don't know if a lot of people know, but it's very easy to change the battery. So you don't actually have to like get rid of them and buy a new pack every year when the battery runs out. You can just easily remove the cap, replace the battery. It's like one of those pill size batteries. Pick these up, you will not regret it. Now I held out on picking up this next item for years because I just did not think I needed one. And I picked one up earlier this year before a trip and I, ugh, I regret not buying it sooner to be completely honest. And that is a Kindle Paperwhite. So if you like to read books, you need one of these. Or if someone on your list is a big reader, they need one of these. I used to read digital books on my iPad because I use my iPad every day and I figured I already have this device. I can read digital books. Why not just use what I already have? And for the most part, reading books on my iPad was fine. Now that I'm comparing it to the Kindle Paperwhite, I can complain about my iPad for reading digital books because the iPad is way heavier. It's a bigger screen, sure, but there's more glare, especially if you're trying to read outside. It's just, it's not as convenient or practical. And for myself, the second I'm on my iPad, I get distracted and end up doing everything besides reading the book I sat down to read. And earlier this year, I was going on a trip to the beach and I really just did not want to bring my iPad with me because I, I didn't want to have to baby it. I didn't want to worry about dropping it or scratching it in the sand. It's not waterproof, all these things. So I finally picked up the Kindle Paperwhite and this thing is incredible. I mean, it's not perfect. I will just say there's a lot of gripes I have with it, but for what it does, I love it. I love having now a dedicated thing for reading digital books so that I don't get distracted. I love how it's like anti-glare, anti-reflective. So when I am reading outside on the beach in the sun, it's still super easy to read. This thing is so light, it makes it so much more comfortable to read from, especially at night in bed. You don't wanna have an iPad in your face and potentially drop it on your face, cause I've done that. It's also waterproof. So when you are going on those beach vacations, you don't have to worry about this thing. You don't have to baby it. It's just super, super easy. It can store a ton of books. It's USB-C rechargeable. So you don't even have to bring like a different cable or something like that. My gripes though, 
is that it's not an iPad, so it is slow as heck. <laughs> if you are used to the speed of an iPad or your iPhone even, this UI and just interacting with a Kindle is much, much slower than you will be used to. But once you get past that and realize, you know, it's not meant to be a high tech thousand dollar iPad, this is $160. So it makes sense and you can kind of get past it being slow and just appreciate it for what it is. It's a great way to read digital books. And like reading on an iPad, you can adjust the brightness. You can put it in dark mode at night. You can adjust the size of the font and the, you can highlight all that, all the same features just in a much smaller, thinner, lighter package. So I'm officially converted to a Kindle for digital books, and this thing is great, it, it really is. All right, now next up is a milk frother, specifically the Nespresso Aerochino 3 milk frother. Now this, in my opinion, is definitely a luxury gift or item. It's only about $90, so not price-wise, but in the sense that do you need an electric milk frother? <laughs> Probably not. But would someone absolutely love to receive this as a gift? Heck yes. Like this thing, I use it every single day and I always feel special when I'm using it and I'm so thankful to have it. So if you or someone on your list is a big coffee drinker or even a tea drinker, matcha drinker, like they would love a milk frother. You can do so much with this. So yes, it will froth your milk, but it can also just steam milk. So if you don't actually want it frothy, you just want hot milk, it can do that. And maybe best of all, it can also make cold frothed milk. So in the summer, I love an iced latte. It's just, it's, it's a little thing that can just make you know, make your morning routine even better. It's the perfect accessory basically for any coffee or tea drinker, in my opinion. Now, some of you may already know water temperature can greatly affect the taste of things like coffee and teas. And different teas are actually meant to be steeped at different water temperatures. And with a traditional kettle, whether it's an electric kettle or a stovetop kettle, that can be incredibly difficult to know because you don't really know what's going on until it's boiled and whistling at you. So this next gift solves all of that and make sure you have the perfect water temperature every single time, regardless of what you're drinking. And it is the Kasori Gooseneck Smart Electric Kettle. I am obsessed with this thing. First of all, it just looks really cool. I love the design. I love the matte black finish. It just looks awesome on any counter. But the best part is the base has all of these different buttons that are labeled with the different temperatures for different drinks so that you know which drink is meant to be at which temperature. And then there's also a customizable button in case you do have a preference or prefer a drink at a certain temperature, you can preset this custom button to your liking. And there's also a hold temp button. So if you know you're gonna be having multiple cups, you can have the kettle hold the temperature for up to 60 minutes so that you don't have to boil a new pot every single time. And this is a smart kettle, so that means it also has an app that goes with it. So with this app, you can do things like set that custom button to your desired temperature. You can turn the kettle on from bed or make sure you remember to turn the kettle off after you've left the house, which is something I do quite a bit. And you can even set a schedule so that your kettle turns on and is ready to go when you wake up. So clearly this year with the milk frother and the smart kettle, I have upped my hot beverage game. And this next product is the perfect ending to the hot beverage trifecta because it is an electric mug, the Ember Mug Two. Now, is this extravagant? Yes. Is it unnecessary? Yes. But is it amazing? <laughs> also, yes. Now, this mug comes with its own charging coaster, but even off of the coaster, the mug itself will keep your beverage hot for up to 80 minutes. So you can take your sweet time drinking your coffee and tea. And it's super easy. There is a button on the bottom that you can press to turn it off and on, but it also has an auto on off. So once you start adding liquid to the cup, it'll turn on. And once you are done with your cup of coffee, it'll automatically go to sleep to preserve 
battery. And there's also an indicator light on the front that'll let you know once the mug has reached your desired temperature and when it is low on battery and you should place it back on the charging coaster. Now at about $150, this mug is not cheap and it is the exact kind of gift that someone would have a hard time buying for themselves. But once you have it, it is so incredibly hard to go back to a traditional mug. And I tested it after about a week with this mug, I started using my traditional mugs. It's so hard to do. <laughs> After about 10 minutes, the drink is cold and it just frustrates me. So I have basically started washing this mug three times a day so that I can drink it with my coffee and my tea throughout the day because it just makes that much of a difference. It is such a luxury, but once you have it, it is so hard to go back. So this is probably the gift I recommend you buy for someone on your list that is just really, really hard to buy gifts for if they just kind of, you know, they're the type of person that has everything already. They probably do not already have a heated mug and they will thank you for this every single day. So these are my favorite tech items under $175. And I do feel like they're pretty universal, like they'd be perfect for basically anyone on your list. So I will add the Amazon links in the description box down below. If you did get value out of today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if not already so that you don't miss part three with my favorite splurge worthy tech items coming out later this week. If you haven't already watched part one with my favorite tech items under $50, it should be right there for you to click really easy. That's it, have a great day, bye.